Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with srlounge.com. All right, so we've gone over how to edit photos in Photoshop, but not all of you out there are using Photoshop or maybe using Photoshop in addition to other programs. For our HDR images, we often use Photomatix as well as Photoshop. So let's talk about how to edit in other applications as well. So one other option we have when we go to right click, uh, edit in, is edit in other application. Now you guys might remember from our preferences that we set up which application we want to use from the preferences. So to get there, we're going to hit control comma or command comma on a Mac and under external editing tab, you once again have the option to set our external editor. So we can set up an external editor here where we can use another photo, uh, another third party software, whether it be Photoshop Elements or something that Adobe doesn't make, something that another one makes, maybe you know Capture One or whatever you might be using. It doesn't really matter, but you can set up that external editor here. So to get there, it, you're gonna set up the, the preferences just like you would with your Adobe Photoshop preferences. Once again, if you have any questions on this section, just go reference that preferences section where we talk about the external editing tab. Now, once you have that set up, again, you go back to the edit in, and when you click on edit another application, it'll automatically pull up this file in that other application. Now, there's other ways to edit inside of other applications as well. When you install other applications, they may have plugins that allow you to basically take photos directly from Lightroom and go into those, those pieces of software. We actually have some of those uh, for Photomatix, and so what Photomatix does is it allows you to export directly to Photomatix. So we would take, like, say, an HDR shot where we'd have three bracketed images, and we don't have that example here, but we'll just say that these are three bracketed images. When we right-click on that, we would go to Export, and we would say Export to Photomatix Pro, and it'll automatically take these three files into Photomatix where we can edit it from there. So external third-party editors are going to kind of work in with Lightroom in two different ways. Either you're going to use it with the edit in, other application setting, or you're going to export to those third-party software. All right, guys, let's move on to the next tutorial.